Hello, boys and girls. I am about to share a new book with you, but before that, I want to explain to you guys why I am reading the way I am. It is called expressive reading, and that's when you use your voice to show meaning. Today, I will be reading The Radiant Child, the story of young artist Jean Michel Mesquat. Somewhere in Brooklyn, between Hearts That Thump, Double Dutch, and Hopscotch, and Salty Mouths That Slurp Sweet Ice, a little boy dreams of being a famous artist. In his house, you can tell a serious artist dwells. As he sits at a table with pencils scattered everywhere, Jean-Michel draws from morning until night with a serious face amid a storm of papers. He refuses to sleep until he has created a masterpiece. At night, images enchant Jean-Michel's mind, and he wakes from his dreams to add one more line. His drawings are not neat or clean, nor does he color inside the lines. They are sloppy, ugly, and sometimes weird, but somehow still beautiful. His art comes from his mother, Matilde, a Puerto Rican woman who designs and sews, cooks and cleans, and makes the house look like a stylish magazine. But most important, she lies on the floor and draws with Jean Michel on his father's old work papers. From her, he learns that art is not only the poetry book she reads to him or in the theaters and museums they visit. Art is the street games of little children in our style in the words that we speak. It is how the messy patchwork of the city creates new meaning for ordinary things. While visiting the museum, they look at his favorite works of art. Reading the stories behind each artist, reading the story behind each work. This is how Jean Michel learns what it means to be a famous artist. Back at home, he creates art on the floor as his father, Gerard, plays jazz records. Mama Matilde cooks Oroso Campoyo and calls Jean Michel Mi Amor. The energy in life of the city can be felt in each line of his drawings. As time goes by, Jean Michel learns that art has a healing power. After a car accident, he is scared and confused. Matilde gives him a book to calm his fears. It is filled with pictures of bones, skulls, and other body parts. Jean Michel draws from it until he knows it all by heart. He is no longer afraid. Back at home, Jean Michel's body heals, but his heart breaks. His mother's mind is not well, and the family breaks. She no longer lies on the floor and draws with Jean Michel, but sits by the window, singing only to birds. Jean Michel is confused and filled with a terrible blues when Matilde can no longer live at home. He tries drawing the terrible out of his blues, but things are not the same. As Jean Michel grows older, he visits his mother when he can always bringing his artwork to show, telling her that one day it will be in a museum when I am a famous artist. A teenager now, Jean Michel decides, Papa, I will be very, very famous one day. With a sly look, a twinkle in his eye, Jean Michel leaves Brooklyn for New York City. The Lower East Side, a concrete jungle where only the tough survive. During the day, dressed in a green jumpsuit, splattered with paint, Jean Michel stays with friends, sleeping on couches and floors, leaving a bearer of collages and poems filled papers everywhere he goes. At night, Jean Michel spray paints the walls downtown with poems and drawings that catch the eye of artists, gallery goers, and passers by. 
Under his art, he signs the name Samu instead of Jean Michel. Everybody wants to know who is Samu. Samu moves from street corners to art gallery walls with powerful color composition and line collage and painting on everything he can find. His art is still not neat or clean and definitely not inside the lines, but somehow still beautiful. With his magical charm, Jean Michel draws a crown. But when it's time to work, he prefers to be alone with the radio and TV on full blast. Now in expensive suits splattered with paint, he flips through stacks of magazine and opens books and paints into the night and sometimes for days at a time while sounds and images jump into his head. Jean Michel, an artist among artists, never doubts one line, creating a soundtrack that is all his own. People describe him as a radiant, wild, a genius child, but in his heart, he is king. So he draws crowns for himself and others he admires. A grown man now, with the art world in his hands, Jean Michel still visits his mother when he can. And at his most important shows, above all critics, fans, and artists he admires, the place of honor is in his mother's, a queen on a throne. He is now a famous artist.